Hey guys, Shane from Liberty Under Attack Radio here. Just want to do a real quick brief video. This is going to be one of the long ones or anything of that nature. But I want to go on the record with this right now, this evening, before February 18th hits. And hopefully the video is uploaded by that time. But I'm sure you've seen the, uh, the it's, it's, it's titled, uh, Notice of Criminal Countersuit Against Federal Employees by Shauna Cox. Uh, and that was filed in court today. And I wanted to kind of lay out the the few options uh, or the few results that could come from this document. Uh, first off, no one is truly naive enough to think uh, that the government will pay that out, uh, which leaves these, these three remaining options. But no one can absolutely be that naive to think that uh, they're going to allow that. So even if what she's saying is true, minus the sovereign citizen bullshit rhetoric, even if what she's saying is true, you really can't be naive enough to think they're going to pay out $666 billion. You just can't. And that leaves, like I said, that leaves three options. First off, the court tosses that document and just removes it from the record for the bullshit that it is, the sovereign citizen uh, rhetoric, uh, all of those things. That's probably the best option that there is. Actually, no, that is the best option that there is, that the court just removes it from the record and, and disregards it completely. The second option is that Shauna has additional charges filed against her like Larry Myers did in uh, in the 90s. So, uh, yeah, that's not a, a good option either. It's definitely not a good option. The last one, they keep it on the record as a tool to demonize her. Uh, in front of like a grand jury when they kind of say, you know, Shauna filed this document in court on February 17th and uh, she was suing the government for or $666 billion. And here are the reasons why. And they kind of read some of the document. And uh, your average juror will, 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 will say something along the lines of, well, yeah, she's crazy. She deserves to be tossed into, into government dungeon. There are no good outcomes with this document. There are none whatsoever. And I'm going on the record with that right now, naming the three possible options that there could be. I don't know what route the government's going to take, uh, but those are, in my opinion, the only three options. And I will also go on record by saying that uh, with this document, I think Shauna dug her own grave. I do. And it's not because I'm, I'm an enemy of hers or anything of that nature. I'm just looking at uh, history and how these things have gone before, and they have never gone good. They have not. So with that said, uh, keep this uh, underneath three minutes. Uh, just keep that in mind uh, with the uh, upcoming, I guess, documents and, and, and proceedings that are going to happen. And, uh, um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, LibertyUnderAttack.com is the website. And please consider contributing financially to Liberty Under Attack. If you want to make a quick PayPal donation right now, just go to paypal.me forward slash LUA radio. Uh, I wanted to keep this short because uh, I've got, I'm putting together the uh, Hammonds archive, their uh, court documents archive. And I've still got about another 20 documents to get through. Uh, and I've already gotten through about 50 of them. So I'm going to get back to doing that. And uh, please, please support uh, Liberty Under Attack, uh, whether it's uh, for for our uh, uh, voluntarist material, the radio show, uh, or because of the Political Prisoners Archive. Those documents aren't cheap, especially with as many that are on, on the archive right now. Uh, so please consider supporting us financially. We definitely appreciate it. And uh, with that said, thanks for listening and, or watching, and uh, we'll definitely see you soon.